Hey, what up YouTube and welcome back to the long dark. Today we are going to make our way back to Trapper's Homestead. Last couple episodes have been a back and forth between Muskeg and Mystery Lake. And we're going to make one more journey having smelted everything we needed last episode. Uh, before we go though, we do need to get some resources and uh, make sure we have the teas and food we need to take on this journey. I hope you enjoy the episode. If you do, please drop a like. It helps me out very, very much. And with the intro out of the way, let's get started. Uh, do, 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 do. do we have any teas on us? I don't remember how many tea. Ooh, I can boil that real quick. Uh, water? How long does it take to do this? Uh, 48 minutes. I don't have enough time. Uh, this only got about 40, 36, yeah. So we'll do that later. Uh, how much tea do I have? Let's see. None? That's good. Okay, it's cold. We're actually warm right now. Let's go out real quick. I want to gather some fuel. I'm probably going to have to restart that fire, unfortunately. But let's grab some sticks. Uh, grab what we can. I want to try to see if there's any, if there are any mushrooms or if there are any uh, rose hips in the area that we can harvest. Uh, it is almost dark, so I kind of thought I would have enough time last time to make it back to Mystery Lake. I don't think I'm going to do that now. I think instead, we will stay here one more evening. Uh, and if our luck holds, we won't have a blizzard to contend with tomorrow. Uh, which will allow us to get back to Mystery Lake then. Uh, the idea being, I just would tr rather trap... Oh, it is the earliest time of the day. How much... I mean, it is the warmest period of the day. But we are still cold as hell. And I got no teas, nothing to work on. Nothing uh, to keep us warm outside of the fire. There's a deer carcass usually over there. Um, we're going to go check that out too and see if it's worth harvesting. A couple pounds of meat would get us far. We only have the can of dog food, I believe. Yeah, and a couple of cattails. 18's a little low. Uh, we're walking into the wind, but let's try to grab these sticks and hopefully not encounter the bear. Mm, I don't see him. Cool. Are there any mushrooms on the log? No. So that's kind of going to be our saving grace if we could. Here's some rose hips. These will help. I'll grab this here. And I'll grab this one too. Oh, we got plenty of fuel. I could cut this up. Yeah, an hour? Yeah, we could do that if we really needed to. Uh, the hatchet just changes everything. Uh, maybe we head back and stoke this fire? I don't know. I don't want to be cold. But I can't make a, uh, a tea anyways. Um, let's, let's go down here. And just kind of keep our eyes peeled for a wolf. It's so windy, I'm a little nervous that we're going to blow out any torches we light. And if I were to start a fire, it's not going to last. Uh, which I would want to start a fire if I were going to um, harvest the deer. Okay, that's glitch. Anything in this metal container? Negative. All right. Let's head out here across this dock. Um, there's usually, uh, what is it? It's like a bunch of metal barrels, I think, are over here. Uh, I'm sure there's a couple cattails. Yeah, there's some right there. And there's some there, too. I'm not too worried about, like, staying full. I just really don't want to lose well-fed again. I'll grab that. I think we need tinder still. And I'll grab that, too. And this one as well. Let's go over here. Uh, Dennis is usually hanging out over here too somewhere. A couple feathers. We're going to need these for the arrows. And hey, Dennis. Um, nothing for me. I'm not surprised. 
Oh, there's a Polaroid. Some wandering last winter took me to the strangest, most desolate part of Great Bear. Looking out over this broken marshland, I couldn't help but think of you. What a time we had. Did I take it? I didn't. Cool. All right. Um, mushrooms. Nope. Okay. And over here is probably some more cattails. Uh, it is getting dark. I want to grab this bag. And is there any scrap? Yep. And another feather. And this wood. Cool. Take the charcoal. Just maybe I'll... Uh, I'll do the map while we're next to the fire, since this is an outdoor um, building, anyways. Uh, we are losing a little bit of condition. Uh, I'm going to grab these cattails, and then we're going to go warm back up. I'll probably have to restart that fire. And I want to check the building that's broken down over there. Uh, generally, there's usually some coal in it. Take that. And I'll take this, and I'm leaving these other cattail heads for the tinder. I don't need all of it. I don't know if it's the wind or if I'm a bit heavy. Uh, it feels like it's the wind, though. But we are moving so slow. Let's cross over here. I guess I could sprint, try to make up for some time. Yeah, that's fine. And I do want to get to this building. I want to be careful because I think last time I was over this way, I did get eaten on a run in this building. Nothing and anything here. No. Okay. Let's eat quick. And I'll take this coal. Yeah. Let's go. Take it. Take it. Take it, and what if I wanted to break this down? Ten minutes for one? Eh. I think we're okay. And how about this chair? An hour and 20 minutes? That seems a little bit excessive, uh, considering I have a hatchet. Like, that's a hell of a sturdy chair. I'll leave these cattails for right now, just because we're so cold. I, I want to get back, drop off what we have. The longer I'm out here, the the higher my risk exposure to a wolf attack as well. Um, and I'm just nervous with this wind. Uh, if I don't have to, if I'm not forced to use one of these flares, I'd be I'd be a little bit happier. Cool, that worked. And let's put this away. Oh, did fire starting go up, or is that just showing me that it leveled up? I've never. Notice that icon on the side. Put the, those in there first. Yeah, and can we warm up, please? And while I'm sitting here, let's cook this. And watch our food. That's not food. Our food, let's eat one of these cattails. Plus seven. Seems a little off. All right, we'll add this just to get that temperature up. It sh we should be warm here in a second. And I'm going to top that off a little bit. And then, yeah, we're warming up. Okay. So let's take a minute here and look at our crafting recipes. We have the prepared rose hips. That's going to take 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and do that. And how much time we have? An hour, two hours and 24 minutes there. Let's go ahead and do another one. All right, that's going to help us get two teas. I'm going to pass the time on this and take it. And then we're going to wait. I'm going to run out real quick. And Oops, crap. Oh, actually, hold on. For weight purposes, let's drop this coal. And we'll drop this too. And I'll drop like five of these. Cool. 
uh, yeah, let's let's head back out this way real quick. I just want to check uh, over here and see if there's any mushrooms. Because if we could get... Yeah, there's some right there. If we can get the uh, teas going, then I can use the teas to help keep me warm while I go pull the uh, meat off the deer carcass. There's usually one down by the water. Okay, cool. Oh, there's more sticks, too. I want to take these. We'll probably do, like, a big craft uh, quick on some teas, and then I'll harvest the deer in the nighttime. Uh, it, does, it did warm up a little bit, so it might be actually a good time to go do this now. Uh, but I would like to have a tea in my belly to keep me warm, uh, and I'd like to start a fire. Ooh, a little lag spike. I'd like to start a fire uh, down by the river as well, or the marsh, I guess, uh, to make sure that no wolves creep up on me while we're busy uh, getting our hands dirty. I just heard a wolf. Yeah, there's there's some birds and there's some birds, so likely it's either Dennis or it's a or Bambi. We'll see. I got all the mushrooms I could find. Let's head back. All right, I got a tea on the Barbie. I'm crafting a couple. I'm preparing some extra rose hips. And we're gonna go ahead and cook another batch of that. I prepared some mushrooms as well. Let's go ahead and place these teas. And I'll place this one too. And let's just move them, make sure they reset. And then that's got a couple minutes, and let's go ahead and craft another mushroom. And I'm pretty much going to just stock up on these teas as much as possible, make sure they don't burn. Alright, and let's pull a torch. These should all be fine. Cool. Alright, all the teas are brewed. I've got one on me, and I just drank one. We're going to run down over this way to where the birds were. And we're going to see uh, if Dennis is over here or if it's a deer carcass and how much food is available. There's one. Oh, that is that. That looks like that might be one, too. Uh, we're going to head over here. Just keeping my eyes peeled for any wolves. Hopefully an Aurora doesn't kick up. We have the knife. So hopefully this shouldn't take too long. If we did... Uh, Cook this guy four pounds okay i can do that i think that would be worth it let's go ahead and start this yeah we'll start it i got 17 sticks on us so with 17 we should be able to get you know 20 minutes 40 minutes depending on how long it takes to to cut this uh deer up but we'll get this fire started and um let's see how long it will take with the knife an hour it takes longer with the knife than it does the hacksaw. Well, let's see here. Let's add some fuel. How cold are we? All right, we're a little cold. If I want to do one pound with this, it's 15 minutes. Yeah, let's just do the hacksaw then. I got two of them. So let's, yeah, let's use the hacksaw for now. I'd rather do this for five minutes and uh, then um, 15 per pound. That's crazy. Like, what was the point of making the uh, the knife then? Now let's go ahead. Let's do... Yeah. That's fine. Why's my mouse here? Okay. And we'll cook that off. 10 minutes, 45. Oh, that's going to take 45 minutes to cook, though. Okay, 9 minutes there. And let's get this last pound.
I don't know if I want to grab the hides. I mean, we have the deer here. We kind of should, right? Two minutes. It's past the time that this is ready, and we're just going to eat it. I didn't even look at the condition of that. <laughs> I figure it's cooked, right? Okay. 20 minutes, 30 minutes there, and we got five minutes on this campfire. Let's go ahead and add a few more. Oh, I shouldn't have done that much. Oh, yes, I needed it, actually. Need one more, actually. Now, if I were to do this hide, it's an hour. And the guts, 30 minutes. Now, what about with a knife? 15 minutes. And 40 minutes. Okay, so meat, maybe because it was frozen. Maybe the this has gone down now. Um... The question is, do I want to grab these guts? Or do I want the hide? I don't really want to do the hide. And I kind of don't want to do the guts. I'm cold again. Let's uh, probably drop this tea, right? Yeah. Let's place this. We'll heat it up. Come on. There you go. Yeah, we'll heat that up. And this campfire ain't doing nothing for us. But we'll drink. And I gotta go check the fire at home. Probably just let that run out, I guess. And we'll just... Oh, no. Yeah, we'll pass time. Let's take it. And then we'll pass time on this, too. And we'll take that. And we'll pull this torch. And, yeah, I'll... I'm sure I'll be down this way again. We'll uh, kind of worry about that then. Um, I want to just check on the fire over here, and then, do we even, uh, I guess, let's actually check how much meat is on this deer, and see if it's even worth it, because if it's not worth it, then let's just go home, or let's just go back, oh, I could break this down, I think I will do that, um, and there's one there too. Uh, having seven more sticks for like 10 minutes worth of stuff. Two pounds? Yeah, that's really not much. Um, I think we're good. I'll take these feathers, though. I don't think starting a fire and thawing out this deer for two pounds is really worth it when I'm gonna leave the hide and the guts anyways. Um, I think I'd rather just... I think I'd rather just wait till a time when I want to actually take the hide off there. And we can just spend the rest of the night sleeping, recovering our condition, and getting ready to get out of here for tomorrow. I will... Yeah, that's 13 minutes. We're going to break this down for sure. At least that one. I'll come back out here for another one if I need to. Um, but we're going to end up using a lot of the sticks to... Uh, fuel us through the evening today. So, the scrub brush will come in handy. Man, having all of the regular tools now, it's a huge game changer. I didn't even know. Like, I've never actually had a, a hatchet to break down scrub brush, so I didn't even know, like, that it's basically seven sticks. And I hear the fire still going here, so that's perfect. Yeah, 24 minutes, though. So we'll put this out. And then I think what I'm going to do is kind of just start to keep this going. Yeah, like maybe an hour there. I'll save 10 sticks for us. Keep these all warm. Uh, I'll grab one of these. Let's throw it in. We're going to get some more. I'm not coming back here for a while. Here's two hours. And then I'll probably, like, break down this and then start brewing some water. Perfect. That's great. Uh, we can drop this off here. I don't need to carry all this reclaimed wood. And, yeah, we're good there. I'll just top these off, too. The teas are good. They're all warm. Two hours there. We have four minutes left there. How long would it take to break down these other chests in here? 
39 minutes. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I essentially, I don't want to, like, destroy this axe already. But, if I'm sitting here this hour anyways, I'd rather just kind of get some wood going now. And we got two hours there, because I can stock this up overnight for us to sleep. Oh, it's almost morning. We might just want to sleep now. I think we're going to do that. I just stocked up on water. We got two gallons. These are good. If I just get... Let's just do that. Just burn this off right here, right now. Just add this. Try to get like five hours, maybe? I'll grab a couple of these. Put them in. I didn't realize how much, how late it got. So, if we can get a couple hours of sleep. And then get home, that'd be good. I'll take these, these will go in the morning. Let's take this now before I forget it. I probably could just leave it here though. It wouldn't hurt to have one over here. I mean, I'm always carrying a cooking pot on me, right? Pretty much. I don't see it on me. Um, I think I leave it. I have other cooking pots. These are fine. How long? What is this? Hundred zero hours. Zero hours. I think I'm going to want to take those, though. And what else do we have? This is almost done. And... That's almost done. So both of these are almost done. Wait, no. Oh, that's zero. Okay, my fault. That's nine. And that's... I was looking at this going. We're almost done. Okay. So if I were to just top off here. And then I think we just go to bed. Oh, 960. I'll save that for tomorrow. Uh, 10 hours. I think I need a cattail or two. Cool. Alright, this is going to be sweet. We're going to go to sleep now. And wake up in the morning. And then head our way back to Mystery Lake. I just did 10 hours, and I only wanted to do, like, 5. <laughs> God, I don't think sometimes. Well, it's midday. I never said I was bright, alright? Let's, uh... <laughs> These are... Oh, they're still hot! Let's just get the hell out of here. Alright, I want to take these two books, though. And I will leave the other scrap that I have on me. Let's drink. I got three and three. Let's drink one of these. And I think I'm going to drink. Well, I can't right now. So I'm full. Um, let us drop. Where is it? The scrap. Where's the scrap? Yeah, I just don't need to carry it with me. Okay, yeah, let's go. It's snowy. So, we're gonna have to contend with that. I should have enough torches. I have, like, uh, six. Yeah, we're good. Six, we got teas. We can warm up. We're gonna head out of here. I would love to explore this region a little bit more, but I just would like to get a little bit more prepared before I come spend some time in Muskeg. And explore like up in the up in the mountains and the radio tower. There are nooks and crannies to Muskeg that I haven't seen. There's also Bleak Inlet. Um, there's some cave somewhere in here that leads to Bleak Inlet, I think. So I'd like to do that at some point. Like there's a lot of regions in this game I'm not that familiar with and would like to get exploring, but I think kind of 
a little bit higher on the to-do list is let's get the bow crafted and actually succeed at some hunting first and maybe get some food established, get like a main base, probably at Mystery Lake at this point. Just get that stocked up. A uh, place where we could retreat to, a place where we could recover. Um, and then I want to start looking at like getting the moose, the moose satchel or making our own. Uh, crafting some wolf coats or bear coats. Uh, some of those things we're going to need to do. I think the beer, uh, the beer, the deer um, boots or like the rabbit mittens. Like those are all things that we got to start to prioritize a little bit. I want to check too. I think our um, last time I believe we encountered, um, what is it? Cabin fever. Uh, I think, I think that's gone. I mean, I imagine it would be at this point. Uh, we are still super cold. Can I drink one of these? Yes, I can. We can top off. And, uh, yeah, I get it. The treatment didn't do anything, but we should be warmer. It's snowy, which is not the best. Our clothes are going to get wet pretty quick. Um, and our weight. How's our weight? 69 pounds. Nice. Let's grab this, uh couple sticks here and I'm gonna just grab all the mushrooms I find kind of around this outer edge and we're gonna try to get over to um, mystery lake for sure is that a maple sapling might grab that too might as well right we're gonna go back to mystery lake that's where all of our all of our stuff is now I don't think I'm gonna go to trappers first I suppose I could kind of be more efficient to get to trappers, pick up whatever we want there, and then hightail it to Mystery Lake. Uh, I think it'll depend on the weather and, you know, how we're feeling. We actually didn't recover as much. Uh, well, that's birch too. Great. Uh, we did not cover recover as much condition as I thought we would. Maybe we lost some once the fire died. I don't think so because the the um I don't remember what I was saying. My daughter ran in. <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying. Um I think I was talking about trappers. So I if we're hurting and we got to go to trappers, we might run over there or if we need to just beeline it straight to uh camp office, then we will. It's all going to kind of depend on what happens. I don't remember if I ever searched this cave up here. Uh, as we're passing it, though, I think I might. It would probably be a good idea to get out of this um, snow real quick. Maybe start a fire. Uh, and then heat up. And maybe warm our teas up, too. We don't have to spend a lot of time there, but we can just... Uh, Get a couple more teas going and and uh, use them to get back because they they've got to be cold by now. I'll take this uh, maple. Got a couple of these. That's good. I don't mind walking back heavy. Man, there's so many mushrooms over here. This is great. I think we are gonna go inside and get some stuff going, and I'll run back out here to grab these. Uh, cause I. Th Pretty sure I cleared out a big chunk of Mystery Lake in terms of tea stuff, so getting some ingredients for the teas, probably a good thing. Now, is this a transition cave or just like a regular cave? Uh, it looks like a regular cave. Yeah. All right, cool. We can start a fire down here. We're already warm. Uh, let's let's do just that though. Let's start ourselves a fire. Oh. Yep, yeah, that's that makes sense. I'm a genius. I left the all my cans. <laughs> I left all my cans and I left my cooking pot over at uh what do you call it? At Spence's. So we're on our own. No teas for us. We've got the four we have. And uh, that's it. So we're going to go ahead and polish off at least two of these. Or at least one of them. 
And how much more time? No, we got no time. Don't walk into the fire. It's a good way to die. And, um... Food. Where's the food? I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that for now. Let's watch these cattails. And I'm going to grab these mushrooms on the way. How are we doing on weight? We're just there. We're not quite heavy yet. Um, but we will be. It is snowing. Not ideal. We're going to get wet in the snow. There are wolves everywhere. I'm a little bummed I didn't at least bring a can. That was a rookie mistake. I know we have everything we need at the other locations, but to not have one on me right now for a quick little drink or to heat up some teas in the cave, like I said, rookie mistake. We're going to keep going. I think that's all the mushrooms in this area. If I see any more saplings, we're going to leave them. I'll have to get them another time. We have plenty. I got like three or four maples now. And I have, I have three, about three or four maples, and I think I have like five uh, birch. And I think you get like three arrows out of one birch, so we're we're pretty good. I would like to get the travois. The travois would be very helpful. I don't know what I need for the travois. I know I need some saplings, probably some gut. Uh, to tie things together, and I believe it's like a deer pelt. Um, I gotta check which pelt I need, but it, I think it's the deer. Uh, that is kind of one of the first goals to get, I think, for the weight. Uh, but I mean, the bow is obviously priority number one. Uh, but getting the travois is going to help us in situations like this where we could just be hightailing it through here, dragging this, uh... Oh, another cave. Dragging this, um... Trevois with us. Is this a cave to... To, um, wherever the hell I wanted to go, uh, Bleak Inlet? Ah, uh, it says leaving, so I'm assuming it is. Let's walk through it. Oh, is this coal? Oh man, tons of coal. I'm not going to take it. I'm already overweight. I just want to see in here. Interesting. Okay. I... Yeah, I just, uh... Let's drink this. I would love to go explore this cave. <laughs> right now, but I need... I don't have any way to, to cook. Um, where is it? Am I going to make it? I did. Okay. Yeah, but this is good to know that this is here. It's actually not that far from... Oh, yeah. It sounds like the weather's getting worse. It's not that far from um, the Mystery Lake. Because, like, I know this area here. I can make it up this hill. And then right over there is the rail line. And we're just going around this cliff here to get over to, to to the rail line to get to Mystery Lake, so it's actually not that far. I felt like the cave to uh, to Bleak Inlet would have been further back. I hear a deer running, I think. Or that's me running. Yeah, like this is area I've never even been back here for for um Yeah, that's a deer. I've never even been back there in Muskeg. So, like, this map's just a lot bigger than I thought it was. I, I want to explore it. I'm going to skirt around the edge if we can. I don't want to fall on the ice. And I would have if I could get up on the snow. That's scary. Uh, let's cr cross through. I need, I need the cattails, I think. Let's grab these. I think I have, like, 20. I don't need that. I think I have like 20 cattails still. Uh, does it show me on the screen when I pick it up? Nope. Uh, and I have that last piece of deer meat. 
I kind of feel like I'm going to use... My plan is to save that deer meat for bedtime. Uh, it's a quick thousand calories. It'll get us through till the morning. I'm going to try to nurse the food here. Uh, I just... just I was committed. <laughs> I just took off and went, and it, it worked out. Um... Oh, cool. The weather cleared up. Sweet. So it stopped snowing. Can go either way, right? It's a coin flip. It's a coin flip. It can uh, turn into a blizzard or it could clear up. And we got lucky. Cleared up. So let's see. Another scrub brush. I believe we're just basically heading through here now and up and around and uh, up and over. And uh, it will lead us to the rail line. And then we can take that back to the camp office. Unless I decide to go to Trappers. Oh, I spoke too soon. The wind is picking up now. All right, we got that heat, uh, that lit. Oh, come on, wind. Don't do it. It's so loud. This torch ain't gonna last. Alright, I'm gonna try to run and do like the sprint till half your... Yep, there it is. Half your energy's gone, and then, uh... Just wanna have this on hand. Do like sprint till half my energy's gone, and then... Uh, recover the sprint, my stamina, and then we'll... Do it again. I'm going to take this a little wide just to make sure like if there is any wolves up here that I have some time to react you hug the wall here and just kind of keep my eyes peeled yeah I hear noises I can't tell what the noise was The last thing I want to do is come over a crest of a hill and there's a wolf right on the other side of it. Because that's like instant attack. And we're still at a like a period of our run where I'm not going to serve. I'm likely not. Well, with my condition where it is, it's basically 100% instant death. Uh, but if I was at full, there's still a chance that it would be instant death. So we just want to be careful. But it looks like we've been lucky. No wolves. I may take take off the trappers. Probably the better bet. Um, with the way we have things now, I could use the axe to get some... I could use the axe to get some firewood. We have a bunch of sticks on us. We can sleep there through the night without a fire, I believe. And we'll still be warm. It's got the magic bed, so we could top off our condition 100%. And then I can grab the things that I'm missing. Like, that's where all the birch saplings are. So I'm going to need to go there regardless. The question becomes, when do I go? And I think with that being the case, we might as well just do it now. Uh, we're gonna have to go there. Let's grab, like, we'll go, we'll top up our stuff, and then tomorrow morning, we had to trappers, drop everything, clean off, and start assessing what we're gonna do in terms of, like, our crafting. Are we gonna make mittens first? Are we gonna make the rabbit skin hat first? Do, oops, are the maple. Are the saplings all cured enough that I could begin to get the bow crafted? Uh, I think that's priority over the, the clothing. So, that's going to be something that I'll need to assess then. But for now, we'll head to Trappers. And uh, probably crash there for the evening. And then uh, take it, pick things up tomorrow. It's another bit of a housekeeping episode, I think, with... The way things have gone in terms of my management of resources. We've had a couple of these. But it should be opening up soon. With uh, getting the bow going. 
Um, once that's in established, I could, uh, we're, we're going to do a hunting episode, like, immediately. Uh, where we go after, like, that guy right there. And, um, and, uh, get our food situation, like, just secured. We don't have to worry about food anymore, then we can, we can go on, um, larger and larger expeditions. But for now, you're safe. I don't have the means to kill you yet. This is my fourth piece of birch bark that I found on the way through here. Uh, that's going to be helpful because we can make a couple birch bark teas on top of it. On top of the uh, mush, all the mushrooms that we gathered. I believe these are the trees. These white skinny ones. Still trying to 100% confirm, but like, I feel like this one could have one. It's not that. Like, I don't see one here, but maybe here has one. Yeah, it's these white skinny ones. So there's some sticks here. I really shouldn't be out over here. Oh, there's a bunch of deer over there. But I don't see the bear. So we'll go down. I don't like going through this little valley. I never like going through this valley. I don't know why. I don't like like the box canyonist of it like I don't want to be down here I like the elevated ground personally I do wish I had this freaking bow though because we could be we'd have three opportunities to get it get ourselves some food and there's no moose it'd be cool if there was the moose I need to figure out how to kill the moose without uh, killing myself <laughs> That's a big concern of mine. And same with the bear. Um, but I did watch Zack kill a bear uh, recently in his misery mode. And uh, he just shot the bear and then uh, he ended up getting a second shot off. But the plan was to run into a fishing hut on the lake. So that might be the way we do it. Because <laughs> if I lose this run now, I might quit the long dark altogether. Oh, I forgot about these rabbits too. Uh, we'll bring him inside. And let's go. Oh, I've got to watch that food. I'm talking. I'm not paying attention. That was close. That was very close. And there's my... F there's my uh, cooking skillets. Alright, these are 90%. And these are almost done too. Perfect. Cool. These are, we're going to take all this with us. All right. Very good. Looking at the crafting menu here. So it's going to take about 40 minutes for us to make three arrows. Or arrow shafts, rather. Um, and then it's going to take another hour and a half. So it's like two hours-ish per arrow. Um, just trying to kind of get an idea of what we're looking at in terms of... Um, Crafting. Travois. I do need the deer hide, which I'll have. And two gut. And four maple saplings. So I didn't anticipate four. Uh, we probably have enough, but the bow is going to come first. Uh, this might be in the next couple episodes, uh, depending on how we do with cabin fever. As far as the stuff here, I mean, I would like to make this stuff. The deer skin. Like deerskin boots. Just a sewing kit and two two hides and four gut. So yeah, we're gonna need a lot of gut. Uh that's gonna be one of the things that we're I don't think we have a ton of. Um but that's fine. The real kicker is the bow, I think. What do we need for the bow? So one maple sapling and two guts. So this'll be uh first. And then it's six and a half. It's interesting to me that the hunting knife takes longer than the improvised hunting knife because, like, this was manufactured. And this I made in, like, my mom's basement. <laughs> like, it's like, this is just, to me, this should take 10 hours and this one should take longer, a shorter amount of time. But I guess maybe because it's interloper like there is no access to the other one so i don't know 
It's just weird to me. Like, this is just literally some metal and, uh, and some cloth that I put together. And, uh, it's gonna work better than something that was manufactured directly. But anyways, I digress. That's gonna do it for me. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please drop a like. It helps me out very, very much. Uh, next time we will, uh, be slogging all of this back to the camp office. And we'll start to play around in the workbench. Um... But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I will see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.